Hi everyone, this is Waj from the MW Technology Channel on YouTube, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build your own projector screen. Specifically what we're going to be doing is making a fixed 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen that you can use in pretty much any application where you need a front projector screen. Now what I would suggest doing is taking a look at the link down below in the description of this video, and when you open up the link it'll take you to my article that will give you an exact step-by-step -step guide, so it just makes it a little bit more straightforward in terms of what you need to do in this project. Now of course I should emphasize that this tutorial is fairly easy to do. If you're doing it for the first time, don't worry, just follow my steps carefully and you should have a pretty good result. Okay, so now let's get into some of the supplies and tools you will need for this project. Now in terms of supplies, the first thing that we'll need is wood. Now you can do this with metal, but wood is a lot easier to work with. I'm using one by three pieces of wood. Now you can use one by twos or any other kind. Now of course the length will be governed by how big the screen will be, and we'll get into the screen measurements in a little bit. Next we'll need some pretty light duty L brackets, which you can find in most hardware stores, and they should have the screws inside the bag. Now the most important thing and probably the most expensive thing that you should actually get is the actual screen material itself. Now for the DIY home theater material of choice for making projector screens is blackout cloth, which is traditionally used to line curtains to block out light. Now blackout cloth is made of one side polyester and the other side cotton. And if you use the polyester side for the projector screen surface, you'll actually get a pretty decent image quality that is very comparable to what you would find in a professional projector screen. Now once you have your projector screen material, you're also going to want to get some kind of border material for your screen. I'm using two inch felt tape that has an adhesive back and it just can be applied on the border directly and it really makes a difference by getting some kind of light absorbing material like felt and it really makes a difference in your image quality once everything is done. Now in terms of some of the tools, you're going to need a screwdriver or electric drill. You're also going to need a staple gun with plenty of staples, measuring tape, pen or pencil, some L-shaped square rulers, and lastly some kind of miter saw or a handsaw to cut your wood. Now the first thing that you should do is click on the link provided in the article, which is located on the first step, and that link will directly take you to the projector calculator on projectorcentral.com, and there you want to just put in your make and model of your specific projector that you're going to be using, then I'll ask you to put your throw distance and your zoom setting on the lens. And of course you should know that all of these parameters are adjustable. You can move your projector back based on your room. You can increase or decrease the zoom range. And what you're going to inevitably find is the exact screen dimensions of your projector screen. Now once you have your screen measurement size, you're going to go ahead and make a little diagram of how much exactly you need to cut the wood. And of course everyone's measurements are going to be different based upon the specific screen size they want and the width of the wood that you're going to be using. Now once you have your measurements all done, make sure to double check everything. Go ahead and mark your wood and cut. Now in addition to the four pieces that we're going to cut, we're also going to cut one middle portion just for added support. You don't have to do this, but just so the screen isn't that flimsy, I would recommend just putting in at least one other support in the middle of the screen. So once you have all your wood cut, go ahead and join it up with the L brackets that we got. And you're going to basically make sure that everything is square and at 90 degrees by using some of the L shaped rulers. And what I would recommend is actually using one L bracket on both sides of the screen. Now, the uh, main side of the screen where your screen surface is going to be, you want to make sure that the L bracket is actually facing away so it doesn't really interfere too much with the actual blackout cloth and there won't be too much of a bulge. Of course, keep in mind that this area will be covered with the felt tape anyways, but you want to make sure that you have it on both sides just for added security. Now, for the middle portion, when you get down to it, you don't want to put anything at the good side of the screen. You want to make sure that you just have those L brackets at the back side so you don't have any bulges in the middle of the screen. Okay, so once you have everything joined together and everything's nice and square, 
you want to go ahead and roughly cut your blackout cloth to size so you have enough room to kind of grab it because we are going to be pulling it and stretching it over the screen so it's nice and tight over that frame. So what you're going to do is lay that screen out and we're going to staple one side of the frame to the cloth. When you are stapling, make sure to leave about 7 to 10 inches between staples so you are actually stapling pretty wide. Now when you're done that, go ahead to the opposite side that you stapled and stretch it pretty firmly, not too hard, but not too soft. Then you wanna go ahead and secure that firm fit by stapling the cloth to the frame. And again, leave about seven to 10 inches between your staple joints. Then you wanna go ahead to the top and bottom portion of the screen and repeat the two steps that we just mentioned. So go ahead up there, tighten it, staple it down, go to the other side, tighten it, staple it down and then you want to just repeat the whole process again basically eliminating any kind of creases or wrinkles that you might have with the blackout cloth be nice and firm with it the blackout cloth can stretch quite a bit and you know you're done when you have a nice flat surface free from any wrinkles or creases now after that you want to go ahead and staple the remaining screen material over to the back side of the screen so you have a nice clean finish once you're done all that it's you just simply Simply put on your felt tape around the perimeter of the entire screen and hopefully you should have a screen that kind of looks like what you're seeing right now. Now in terms of the mounting options you can use whatever you want. We've actually used just a simple string and uh, used two screws into the studs and just hung it like a big picture frame but you could use any kind of hooks or whatever you want but basically treat it as a large picture frame and you should be good for the mounting. Now in terms of the image quality that you'll get out of this screen is pretty remarkable considering the price of this. Now of course if you're paying thousands of dollars for a really high-end projector screen I'm sure you'll get perhaps better black levels, better luminosity, and a whole bunch of other things that'll make your image quality a little bit better. But you're not going to find a massive difference between something like this and a projector screen that costs $500. So with that in mind it really doesn't take that much effort to actually make it. As long as you have the proper tools, you should be fine. Now, of course, if you have any questions, make sure to take a look at the article in the link in the description and uh, just go ahead and go over that before you do anything. And if you have any further questions, make sure to give us a comment down below or you can also comment on the website as well. But if you like the video, make sure to give us a like and favorite the video as well. Make sure that you're subscribed to our channel if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Take care.